Hello, this is Dorothy Smith. I'm back to show you the special of the month, and May is the National Scrapbooking Month. And our special, it has a wonderful bundle for, I think, $52.95. Let me put my glasses on. Yeah, it's $52.95, and you get cardstock, coordinating cardstock, you get a full-size stamp, you get a 12 by 12 page of stickers. Oh my God, they've never done that before and I love it. Um, and then you get the World Is Yours papers that are uh, just perfect for the start of summer, for when you go on vacations, when you go on camping trips, when you do backyard barbecues, you know, if you have a pool in the backyard and you're doing a, uh, you know, kids get together at the pool. Um, anyway, they're going to be perfect papers. And we have a downloadable file uh, to make an album out of these papers. Both a small album, the 6x8 album, the Everyday Life album, and 12x12. 12 12. And so you can download for free those uh, how-to albums and they'll tell you how to cut the papers. Anyway, if you go to dorothy.closetomyheart.com and look for promotions and look for The World Is Yours, you can find these papers. They're going to be wonderful. My video coming up is me doing the um, cut above, which are the easiest of the scrapbooking pages to do. They're uh, already printed. The backgrounds are pre-printed. The um, the uh, picture frames are already cut out and then you just have little punch out die cuts and stickers to put on there and they tell you exactly where to put them. Mm, doesn't get much easier than that. And so I will be showing you in the video how I put that together. It uh, takes less than 30 minutes to do it and so um, that is going to be the start. And then I will make subsequent videos showing you the uh, pages to put together for this album because I am so doing this album. Um, anywho, that's that's the special, The World Is Yours. And, you know, we all end up with a whole lot of paper and a lot of leftovers and a lot of scraps. That's the name, scrapbooking, right? So what do you do with your scraps? Well, you can make cards. You know, you can decorate pages. You can do... Uh, a collage of papers. You can take, like I did in my office, in my club room, I took my uh, a wooden D for Dorothy and I kind of ripped up the my papers that I liked, uh, that I had leftovers of, and put them, glued them onto the wooden D. And so I've got a whole bunch of D's. I guess it's kind of vain. Sorry about that. This is a better idea. You know, you could make letters for other people than just yourself like me. So for your kids, you could make their their letters in girls' or boys' papers. So I take what I said back. It's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Eight cents for one 4x4 four four ceramic tile. Get Mod Podge from Michael's. And whatever papers you have left over... And you can coordinate them or not coordinate them, whatever you want to do. I'm going to modge podge four by four squares onto these to make coasters. And then I'll put some uh, cork, or you could put felt, but cork is easy to wash, um, on the back with glue. But you can just modge podge that onto the four by four white tile. And, you know, so we have, of course, the picture. Picture my life cards. Um, and you get four by six and three by fours. I always have a bunch left over. You can put you can use them on your scrapbook pages, you can use them for titles, you can use them for cards. You can make almost a whole card out of just one of the um, picture my life cards. So this one, it says love blooms here and goes all around with the flowers in the center. And I thought, okay, if I cut that down to 4x4, four four, that would be perfect for a coaster. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make coasters. And I'll make a video for you to show you how it comes out. And then I took one of the Feels Like Home background papers that I really liked, that I had a, a chunk of left, and took one of the Butterfly Home Sweet Home uh, pages and cut, not pages, but card, and cut it up. And I'm going to cut out more of the white. I think I'm going to cut around the butterfly and uh, leave the Feels Like Home and then cut around the butterfly. I think that would look better. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put that together and Mod Podge that, and I'm going to make a gift for, for a friend um, of a bunch of coasters. So they're eight cents a piece, and you're using your leftovers. So you know you kind of feel good about getting rid of your leftovers, right? All your scraps. Anywho, the other thing is, I don't know, can you see that? The scissor, the heart, came from... Um, one of our close to my heart cartridges for Cricut. Did I say Cricut? Cricut. Okay, so I got some of the iron on vinyl, and this has sparkles in it. And I used a chunky letter that is free, a font that's free from, cart uh, from Cricut. And I'm going to make t shirts. My girlfriend and I are making t shirts for ourselves. So, so much fun. You could make these for your kids. You know, <clears throat> it isn't just about scrapbooking. Did I tell you I got sick because something blew in in Texas Friday a week ago? And some of everybody I know all got sick with all the same symptoms at the same time. Personally, I think it's the Russians. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I've got my tea and lemon and honey here because my voice is funky. But anyway... You can do more than just make scrapbook pages and cards. You can make t-shirts. You can make post coasters. Anywho, it's very cool. And just 35 years in the biz. Close to my heart is celebrating its 35th year here on Earth. It's a debt-free company. If you want to be a consultant for a debt-free company this is a good one to be a consultant for. Um, anyway, 35 years. I've been a consultant for them for, I think, 11 years now. And when they had their 30th anniversary, they had some of the most gorgeous papers to this day, some of my favorite papers. And it looks like they're going to be doing the same thing with The World Is Yours. So you can get a bundle of the world is yours for fifty-two ninety-five, and make some of everything with it, including an entire album. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say. I've got to get doing my voiceover so you can see the video of the cut above. World is yours. You can get an idea of what the papers look like, and I will be showing you what all the papers look like. See you in a bit. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. This is Dorothy Smith, and this is my redone catalog. I showed you uh, the new catalog coming out, and this is me taking it to Staples, having the original binder removed and a spiral bound uh, binding put in place with dividers that I added. Um, so I marked all of my dividers according to the sections with Hostess Rewards and the various paper kits and embellishments and tools. And so there I am with my newly done catalog. So May is National Scrapbooking Month and our special for May is papers called The World is Yours. And these are great papers for the start of the summer because they're perfect for outside. They're perfect for uh, doing things like camping or picnics or hiking or anything outdoor related. So the colors are just perfect. They're nice soft greens and blues and peach with uh, a strong accent color of espresso. 
And so these papers are just beautiful, but they're only available until May 31st. And so if you go on close to uh, Dorothy at close to my, no, I'm wrong, dorothy.closetomyheart.com, uh, that is my shopping site. And if you click on promotions and go to World is Yours and you can get an up close and personal look of what the papers look like. So this is the cardstock that comes in the bundle. The bundle is $52.95. You get three pieces of sage, three pieces of peach, three pieces of um, espresso, and also of mink. And our cardstocks have a slightly lighter shade on the back side, so it's like you're getting six different cut. Is that six? Eight different colors. So um, there's the stamp. And it's real cute with its little bike and cool glasses. And this is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes with the paper pack. And uh, here is the paper pack. So you get two sheets of each of the pre-printed papers. So you get this really nice little map that's good for any place USA. And on the back side are these real pretty uh, little green trees uh, on a green background and then I love this background with the uh, almost setting sun um, on a and a hill with trees on it and the back side is stripes and then the next printed paper is a peach background and look at that kind of a watercolorish looking paper with the branches uh, to center picture I mean it's just beautiful paper and uh, the, there's a little pre-printed um, with a little plaid and a paper airplane, too cute, and luggage because you're going to be traveling in the summer, hopefully, and uh, some little bicycles on the zip strip with the mink um, lightly printed uh, design on it. And then look at that. I mean, you could almost make your own whitewash paper if you wanted to. I mean, taking white cardstock and then do, doing a color wash like that. But this is done for you, so it's even better. Then you get two pieces of beautiful vellum with nice branching on it. And the ever-favorite craft paper with the little hearts uh, for the zip strip. So really, really nice papers that, you know, are just going to be perfect for any of your outdoor activities that you want to turn into scrapbook pages. So, so you get the paper pack, you get the card stock, you also get the um, sticker sheet, 12 by 12 sticker sheet page, and the full size stamp set. In addition to that in the bundle, you get the cut above kit that goes with the World is Yours papers. And so you can make two two-page layouts with this Cut Above kit. And if you've seen me do these before, because I've done a number of the Cut Aboves, it takes about 30 minutes to put four pages together. So I mean, you can't beat that for ease of use um, and quickness for getting getting some pages done. So the backgrounds are all are already printed for you and you get a sheet that has stickers on it and a sheet that has die cuts on it and you get um, photo holding pieces of paper and you also get color backgrounds for the photos that are already pre-cut so that's how it you don't have to cut anything all you are doing is gluing things onto the paper and so I try to kind of pre-organize my stuff a little bit. So I kind of pick out the pieces that go with layout one and layout two. And I put them in their own little pile. So it makes uh, putting them together that much easier. I don't have to go searching all over for things. So I'm just cutting out. Look at that cute little Vespa in peach. I mean, how cute is that? Ah. Okay, so it goes in its pile and the other one goes in layout number one. And so I'm going to set number two aside and put my instructions over to the side so I can refer to them. But I'm not going to do much measuring here. I'm pretty much using the uh, 
printed background as kind of a clue as to where to put all the additional pieces. Um, and I'm going to take out the triangles here that go with layout one and uh, the little out, out there. More triangles, some little paper airplanes, and a couple of little trees down there. So I'm punching all those out so that they're ready to go. Just to make it easy and not have to... I kind of like to do one action at a time. So if I'm going to punch out, you know, a uh, one of the die cuts, then let me just put all of them out there so I can um, find them easily and don't have to worry. I can set that other piece of paper in the trash with all of its pieces gone. So, um, it's a really nice background. I really like that background. You know, it's, it doesn't, it's obviously a background, but it doesn't interfere with, um, it's not so strong that your eye is pulled away from the most important part, which are the pictures that are gonna go on your layout. And that's kind of what you want to do. You want to have um, elements that don't force your eye to jump to them. You don't want them to be so strong as to um, make your brain concentrate on something it's not supposed to be even thinking about. So it's very simple. The you know nice dark green background goes on the uh, mink background, and then two three by four placeholders picture holders, picture placeholders, are going to go on the um, green background. So, you know, if I set this aside and don't put anything on it for a while, these placeholders say, hey, you know, cut your, your 4 by 6 down to a 3 by 4 you know, get out the extraneous information on the picture and put the most important part up there. So that's kind of what, what that's about. So those triangles are kind of like stylized uh, hills and mountains in, in a way. I mean, they're supposed to be kind of background that makes you think you're out looking at, in a, the far distance, you're looking at, at mountains uh, along the horizon. So I'm switching over to layout one now because I can't concentrate on one thing for too long. So that little uh, piece is going to have a three by four, no, a three by three picture go on it. And the espresso will just hang out a little bit on each side. And it really, you know, I would have always made a, th you know, for a three by three picture, I've always would have made a three and a half by three and a half background, um, just so that it's even all the way around. But look at how nice it looks just to have an asymmetrical, you know, it, it's, I mean, it's symmetrical, but it doesn't have the same amount of information, color information showing on the top and bottom. And it doesn't distract from it. Actually, it kind of makes the picture stand out even more. And so I really love that, um, that idea. So this little banner is going to go right across the, our little hill there. And so something is out there. Maybe Bigfoot. Maybe a snake. Don't forget to look down if you're hiking. <laughs> so anyway, it, it could, many, many interesting things could be out there. Ooh. Did I tell you I am sick? <laughs> My brain isn't functioning very well. So anyway, back to the paper airplanes. I like these little paper airplanes. I mean, that's going to be fun to to have something that may be um, plane related for my husband with the little paper airplanes. I'll have to get a picture of him this summer with his plane. He has a 1969 Cessna. Not only is his wife old, his plane is old. Okay, this, this um, little sticky zip strip is going along the bottom edge there. And you know, perfect colors, the green, green and the blue, just perfect little addition to the kind of boring 
mink background there. Just a, just a little zip. And then I'm adding my little journaling because you can't forget to, to put your journaling there. And then I'll stick down my main, main piece. And like I said, I'm not doing, I'm not doing any measuring here. So what I'm doing is I'm referring to the instructions and I'm kind of getting an idea of where that, um, mink background with the green and the two pictures on it sits in conjunction with the, the, infra, the uh, instructions. So you don't have to use a, you know, to, you don't have to put a perfect two and a quarter inch um, from right and left. You can just kind of use the picture as a go by um, or the, the print on the paper as a go by of where to put, put your elements that you're adding on to the background page. So, you know, I'm just putting Tombow on here. I kind of wish I had popped those up with some double stick foam. So if you're going to do that, I would probably pop them up, you know, with some foam pieces just to add a little bit of dimension to the stylized mountains there. I do like those, um, adding that little bit of element. It just adds a little a little something, a little outdoorsy look something to the whole page. Not something I would ever come up with um, on my own, but I sure I'm glad they, somebody has a good artistic brain out there to come up with those ideas. And then, of course, the little bitty trees that are so cute. So, I mean, how perfect is that? It's just, you know, super simple and puts more of the sticker hearts on there in... Uh, you know, on the craft paper. And I've used up, well, there's the one thing left in adventure. So adventure, the adventure sticker is going to go above the is out there little banner. So that's what's out there is adventure. It isn't Bigfoot. It isn't a snake in the grass. It's adventure. Of course, if you had Bigfoot and a snake in the grass, that would be very adventure, adventuresome. Anyway, so there you go. Title. Done. And it's self-stick. I mean, how simple is that? I like that. I like those pages. And I love, love, love the colors. Did I forget something? Good chance. Ah, another paper airplane, because we're kind of balancing a paper airplane on the right and left. So there you go. Cute little hearts, cute little paper airplanes, and a real pretty little layout. Just perfect for the outside. Okay, number two. So this is the going places layout. And uh, how pretty are those colors together? I think that's glacier blue. I'm not I'm not positive. I didn't see anything written down, but that looks like a glacier blue to me. Um, and once again, I'm just referring to the instructions that are off to my right off camera. And so, I mean, that's that light blue and the peach are just really perfect for uh, coordinating colors. And so I am using a ruler here. Um, just because I'm going to, I don't really have a go by on the white of where to put it. And I have, um, I want to make each of the peach backgrounds for the pictures. I want them to be even with each other, um, from left to right. So I'm going to do a half inch in on one side and a half inch in on the other. So I kind of got off the paper there and left a little bit of the glue on the page, but I'll fix that later on and I'll show you how. Okay, so you can see that my papers are off or not even with each other, but that uh, that's why they, they look like they're cockeyed, but they're not. So this is a little um, sticker that's just a little edge of um, kind of wood look paper. 
on the background there. And so, you know, it's just just a cute little addition to the uh, peach to break up the peach and give it a little bit more kind of a texture look. And I, I like that. I like this. So one's top and bottom. The other one is right and left. And I didn't really measure these to make sure they're absolutely perfect, but that's okay. And I like that the on the paper they have some little, if you look at those little blotches here and there. So it's like, you know, a very kind of casual paper. Um, and I, I really like the way those little blotchy things work. I, the, the stamps that are the stamp, the blotch stamps, are like my favorite stamp. And every time they come out with a new one, I always get it because it's really fun to make kind of a controlled blotch with ink and you can you know you can make it dark or you could make it light with a second generation or even a third generation and it just adds a little texture to your paper and a little interest without interfering I mean my big thing is to you know make a page that's you know has a lot of stuff to look at but it's not so such a strong element that you don't look at the pictures I mean why would you want to do that that, but that's my opinion. I mean, I just think the pictures the, are the most important thing. And this cute little Vespa. I mean, if you're going to, I think you see these a lot in in Europe. I mean, uh, you know, they're were kind of known for the thing back in the day in Italy to have a Vespa. So yeah, I haven't been to Europe and I sure haven't been to Italy. And one of these days, hopefully, but... Um, a Vespa getting around. I wouldn't want to do it in, in the traffic in, in Texas. They're kind of aggressive people. So a Vespa wouldn't, wouldn't be looked on very nicely, I don't think, in, in uh, the Dallas area or the more metropolitan areas of, of Texas. But I wouldn't do it at least. I'm going to have plenty of car around me. You know, they have, they have these giant trucks down here, so... A giant truck isn't going to look very high, you know, highly <laughs> on a little Vespa getting in its way. Anyway, I digress. I'm sorry. I'm just babbling on like an idiot here. Okay, so I'm putting the other elements in place. And of course, had I read the instructions, I would have realized that what I needed to do was to put down some of these elements before I stuck anything else down. But I didn't do that, did I? No. No, so here I am putting the elements in place and uh, I'm cutting this in half because it didn't tell me to, but only half of it is sticking out. And so I might use that half, el you know, someplace else. So, uh, you know, it, it's amazing to me how you can do just something little and it looks just right. I mean, you know, that little striped uh, hexagon there is um, just so cute. I mean, it looks just perfect there. And so the uh, Vespa is, I'm popping up the Vespa with my foam, foam di dots, which I wish I had the bigger dots with me here, but I didn't bring those with me. <clears throat> but um, I'm putting those on the Vespa to make it pop up. Now, one thing they had done on the instructions there, under the Vespa, that little blue hexagon, it uh, has start here. And, uh, but there's nothing, there's no um, sticker or die cut or anything that says start here to go on that little, um, on the little hexagon. So I'm going to put that because I think that's kind of a neat idea to have a thing start here uh, and put that on there with my little jotting pen. Um, so I like that. It's very cute. Anyway, we have like a little, a little uh, package tag here as the element for writing your journaling on and the uh, small sailboats are going to go under the journaling so there's just a little piece that's going to stick out 
from from there that looks very cute and what I'm gonna do is just put pop-up darts darts listen to me pop-up dots on one side of the journaling card so that it's not going to sit on top of the picture with uh, you know glue so I can write on that and when it gets time to put the picture in place then I can just lift up the the uh, journaling flap and slide the picture underneath it so that's why I only put them on one side and uh, it's always a good idea if you have an element that's going over the picture then just put your um, pop-up dots on one side make sure you get pick the right side when you're putting the dots on there because I almost didn't so there's another little element kind of pointing here look at this and uh, there's another little stripe hexagon which sits on top of the wood and I like the little sailboats. Paper no, those are paper airplanes. Those aren't sailboats. Those are so cute. So that's going to go over in the. I think it's going over there in the corner. We'll see. See, so you can you can see that strip of glue sticking out from where my tombow went wild. Um, I have a special little. It kind of looks like an eraser, but uh, it it eh, sort of isn't a, an eraser, but it pulls up glue, and so it will pull that up very easily. And so there's a little bike, and then this is one of those stackable things. So there's the die cut that gets stuck down, and then there's a st or the sticker gets stuck down, and then there's a die cut that you can pop up with um, your foam double stick and uh, have a double, double double element there. Kind of an interesting thing. They have been doing that. So on that peach corner piece there, they also have a start here. So it's kind of like you start here and go to the left, and on under the Vespa, you start there and you go to the right. And so uh, that is going to get put in with my wonderful handwriting. Uh, not, uh, but I'm going to put it in with my, um, what is it called? Le pencil? Le pen. Le pen. Okay, so here's another title, The Going Places, and that is also a sticker. So, I mean, they've just made things so easy for us with these cut above uh, pages where you don't have to stamp, you don't have to cut anything out. They've just got the sticker to go in directly on the page. And so, I mean, it just goes so quickly. These are all the elements that save you a lot of time from, uh, you know, where you don't have to stamp, you don't have to cut out. <clears throat> that's where you save a whole lot of time so and I like the going places because it's not specific it can be any place at all and uh, you know it could even be you know a camping type trip because a lot of people bring scooters to camping sites that are rather large and they use it to get around so <clears throat> it really could be any kind of a place that you're going to and I'm popping up an element. We'll see what it is. Doing it off to the side there. It's the hearts. And so that's going to go right there as kind of a combination of hexagons all together, which is also a cute idea. And here's my little putt putter. With the little arrows going that way. How cute is that? That is so cute. <coughs> Pardon me. I hope you like these things as much as I do. Is they're, they're fun to do, they're easy to do, and you feel like you've accomplished something at the end of it. And you can actually, I mean, there are ladies that add a whole lot more to these cut above kits uh, than 
what I venture forth here. I'm showing you what it looks like when it's done according to the instructions. But there are other ladies that, you know, bring out all sorts of different kinds of elements on these kits. Now there's the eraser type, the it's kind of a square rubber thing that's in the catalog um, for like a couple of bucks. And it's great for pulling up, it, you know, any of your adhesives, it pulls, well, it's not gonna pull up a dried liquid adhesive, but any of your double stick adhesives that you use, any of your runners, it'll pull those uh, extra stickiness up. So there's my pages. So those are the, once again, those are the cut aboves. And uh, you can actually get the cut above all by itself. You don't have to buy it in the bundle. You can get all of these bundle pieces. You can get the stamp, the card, the coordinating card stock, the paper packet, um, and the cut above. You can all get those as separate elements. But if you buy them as a bundle, then you get 20% off. And so I'm going to have lots of pages and I'm going to make an album because we also have um, downloadable instructions for making an album using these papers. So you're going to be seeing me make the pages for this. It's going to be a World is Yours album. So there they are. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye-bye.